Hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to connect and or reconnect to a wireless network. All right, right here I have a Windows 10 computer. I'm going to go ahead and click on the bottom right hand side, this I, uh, left click on this wireless icon right here. Now I've already got it connected to a network. I'm going to go ahead and start this off by disconnecting from this network. And then I'm actually going to right click on it and forget this network because otherwise, well, okay, uh, you can disconnect from a network, but it will remember the security key that's entered into it if you don't forget it. So if you don't want to forget the security key, uh, don't click forget. But I'm going to click forget because more often than not, the problems I've had with connecting to wireless networks have been entering in a wrong security key where I had to re-enter the correct one or something like that. So in this case, I'm going to forget it. And then now it's basically like it was just a brand new, like never been used, never been connected to wireless network. All right. So once I've got that, uh, to connect to a wireless network, what you're going to do is select on the network. Uh, I do have an unsecured one right here. Uh, you can... I don't advise these, but all you really have to do is check this box and click connect. It will likely pop up with a message, uh, both asking if you want to connect to this unsecured network and if you want to share your resources with other computers. I'll cover that in just a second. But for what we're going to do, the uh, test we're going to do here is I'm going to connect to the secured network. So I'm going to select left click on the network, tell it to connect automatically. This will ensure that it saves the settings and just automatically connects from now on so you don't ever have to tell it's connecting in. If you're only going to connect one time and you don't ever want to have to worry about it automatically reconnecting because it will anytime it finds this network it'll try to reconnect to it unless another network has higher priority. So I'm going to left click on connect and then it's going to ask me to enter in the security key which I'm going to go ahead and do here. Now, of course you do want to enter in the security key correctly. There's a little button right here to the right where if you left click on this, it will actually show you the security key you've entered in. So hold down the left button over this and it'll show you the security key if you want to see what you've typed in to verify it. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure I've got this entered in correctly. So I'm just going to go ahead and click next. Now, if you have a bunch of other Windows 10 computers, they're sharing resources. There's a bunch of reasons why you'll want to click yes on this. If you don't have other Windows 10 or Windows 11 computers or other Microsoft devices, uh, you can just click no. Uh, there are things that this will block that you may want to leave in there. So if there are other Windows computers, 10, 11, etc., click yes. If there aren't, click no. Or if you just want to make sure this thing is really, really just tightly network controlled and stuff like that, just click no. In this particular case, I don't mind it either way. So I'm going to go ahead and do yes. All right, I entered in the correct key. I entered in or clicked yes on the message. Now, assuming you have an internet connection, it's going to pop up with this message that says connected and secured. If it doesn't, there could be a problem with your wireless card or there could be a problem with your router. But generally speaking, you should see connected and secured. Or if it says no internet, there is something else probably going on. Uh, as a troubleshooting step, one thing that is really, really useful to do is just to go in, uh, break up the steps, and just restart your computer. For instance, uh, disconnect and forget the wireless network. Then reboot your computer completely and then reconnect the wireless network re-entering the security key and everything. I find that to be really, really useful, and I've had to do it more than a couple of times uh, when I was working on more than a couple of computers. So if you have to forget it, restart the computer, and then reconnect to the wireless network. Assuming you do all these steps, and assuming you don't have something physically wrong, like with a wireless card or something like that, or something weird going on with Windows, it should show connected, and it should show secured. Oh, and uh, no, it won't show secured if you connect to something like an unsecured network. But, you know, that's, uh, that's a matter of preference, and that's, uh, that depends on uh, who you are and stuff like that. Although, if you are connected to an unsecured network, maybe a VPN or something like that is in order. But, you know, as I said, it's just, yeah, it's just up for preference. All right, guys, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, if you have, like, follow-up video ideas or anything, just, you know, leave them in the comments section below. Otherwise, hey, have a great rest of the day.